What's up folks? So it took me a while to do this video, but this is Notebook LM, an AI tool released by Google that's pretty awesome for anyone who does a lot of research and a lot of studying because it essentially allows you to compile a bunch of documents like text, text files, markdowns, PDFs, upload things from Google Docs, Google Drive, etc. and have one place with the backend uh, that uses generative AI to essentially process those documents, analyze, gather insight, etc. So let's learn how it works. First thing we're going to do is we're going to come over to create new and then we create a new project, right? And now we can upload the sources that we want and we can upload from Google Drive, Docs, Slides, Links, YouTube, Paste Text, or we can upload from our, from our computer. So I'm going to choose files in my desktop. Actually, I'm going to choose this PDF and this PDF and I'm going to just come over and open. And now what's happening is we have three main windows where we can interact with this tool. We have the sources window, the chat window, and the studio window. And if you come over to the sources window, we have here selected all the sources that we uploaded. We can obviously deselect one or reselect it. And then we can chat with those sources, starting from this very simple one paragraph summary of all the sources that were uploaded. So essentially you see that I uploaded a 1962 essay by Douglas Engelbart about augmentation of human intelligence and a paper about effective tutoring strategies for students, analyzing tutoring dialogues, focusing on the role of tutoring students' actions in fostering deep versus shallow learning. Two sources that I'm actually interested in. And then we have the studio page where we can actually generate a podcast conversation about the documents that we uploaded, which is pretty awesome. We can also add and create notes. We can create a study guide. And the first thing that we're going to do actually is create a briefing doc. So I can click on briefing doc. And now a new note is being generated, which essentially is going to serve us as a big summary, well-structured of all the sources that we uh, have selected. And this is super useful for you to get a sense of, let's say, a, a variety of documents and start, you know, your research or study journey, whatever you're doing with those documents. So once the node is generated, we can click on it and we can take a look and see uh, a little bit about what it is. What I really love is that the briefing doc is well structured about the multiple documents. So it's not just like a composition of two uh, summaries. It's actually a, the result of processing both or processing all the PDFs or all the files that we've given and then creating this briefing doc about uh, everything that's in there. So it's pretty cool because when you see it, you see that it's trying to relate information from both documents and, you know, start starts getting you some insights about what's in there. And one of my favorite things that you can do with Notebook LM is that you can chat with those documents, right? So you can say something like, uh, what is augmentation uh, for Douglas Engelbart? How does that relate to uh, the paper about tutoring strategies? And we wait a few seconds and what we get is a high quality response that references the original sources. So as you can see here, there we go. So what we get here is this very high quality answer saying it defies augmenting as increasing capability to approach complex problems. That's correct. And if we go to see where the uh, model took the inspiration for this answer, we can see that it was in the introduction part where it's actually talking about the definition of augmentation. So it's, so it's just perfect. And we can go deeper into it and we can see other parts of the document that were used and how does it relate to the other paper. So referencing parts of that paper and essentially it gives you an amazing easy way to build this graph representing knowledge from multiple sources, relating things. So talking about tutor center hypotheses, students, these are the hypotheses in the uh, paper about tutoring strategies, easily organized here in Notebook LM. It's a pretty awesome feature. We can save this as a note if we want, which is a great way for us to see, like, start compiling these bytes of document and information that we might want to at some point compile into perhaps an essay, an article, a video, whatever we want to do, right? And then the like most famous feature from Notebook LM that I really like is this uh, generate a podcast feature where we can generate a podcast conversation about those source documents 
and then just listen to it, like an audio overview of everything that's in there. So I can click on generate, then generating the podcast after like quite a few minutes actually. And now we can actually hear it. It's a pretty awesome audio overview and it feels very natural because it's just, you know, two people talking about the documents and the sources that you're trying to learn from and uh, gather insight from. So it's pretty interesting. You can also create all sorts of things like study guides, frequently asked, uh, a document with frequently asked questions. And um, you can, the, the most trippy feature from the Notebook LM is this interactive mode for the podcast where you can actually ask questions to the podcasters about the um, information you're trying to learn, which can be quite trippy. If you do that with, for example, your CV, and you can have like a podcast about you and then ask questions and it's it gets it gets pretty meta and interesting so in essence that's notebook lm folks i definitely recommend you check it out it's a free tool it's amazing for anyone who does research studies it has you know you can upload up to 300 sources per project so it's a pretty fascinating tool and that's it thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and see you next time cheers